L'Hopital's rule tells us that derivatives may be useful in finding limits of indeterminate forms, so one of the seven forms you see here. The statement is that if we have two functions f and g that are differentiable, and the derivative of g is not zero around the point a, and the limit as x approaches a of f and g are both zero, or they are both infinite, then the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x over g prime of x, provided that the limits exist. So it could be that the second limit, the limit of the quotient of the derivatives, is easier to compute and then L'Hopital's rule is useful. A word of warning about the rule, do not apply L'Hopital's rule to limits of determinate forms. It could give you misleading answers, results. Okay, let's answer some questions. Use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit as x approaches 1 of x squared of minus 1 over x minus 1. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you pause it and have found that this limit is equal to 2 and you can find the limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 by applying L'Hopital's rule. It is of an inde indeterminate form. Um, so we can just take this as the limit of the quotient of the derivatives. So the derivative of x squared minus 1 is 2x, the derivative of x minus 1 is 1. So as x approaches uh, 1, 2x approaches 2. Hence, 2 is equal to the limit. Okay, let's look at the next question. Use L'Hopital's rule to find this limit, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and I found that this limit is equal to 1. Again, this is of an indeterminate for 0 over 0, so L'Hopital's rule can be applied to find the limit of sine of x over x as x approaches 0. So if you, we take the quotient of the derivatives, the derivative of the sine function is the cosine function, the derivative of x is equal to 1. So as x approaches 0, the cosine of x approaches cosine of 0, which is equal to 1. Let's look at the next question. Use L'Hopital's rule to find this limit, the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x minus 1, all divided by x. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and have found this limit to be equal to 1. Again, this is of an indeterminate for form of 0 over 0, so you can find this limit of e to the x minus x, all divided by x as x approaches 0, by using L'Hopital's rule and taking the limit of the quotient of the derivatives. So e to the x minus 1 differentiates to e to the x, whereas x differentiates to 1. Therefore, the limit of e to the x as x approaches 0 is e to the 0, which is equal to 1. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.